Alrighty guys, back at the bow and arrow shop today. We're gonna shoot the three new Prime flagships. We got the uh, inline one, three, and five. Uh, I believe it's 31 inch, 33 inch, and 35 inch axle to axle. Last year, if you guys remember when we shot the Primes, I really, really liked them and that split cam and just how even the pull was. So this year when I saw the promo come out and I saw they had got rid of that, I was immediately a little worried because I liked it so Me much. Me too. <laughs> so I want you to tell us about this and do I need to panic or is it just as good or nah, bad? Nah, man, you don't. You know, when I first got it, I got uh, Ryan, my rep, sent me the 33 and I'm like, oh, dude, come on, you can't torque the other one. Then he started explaining the technology and then I finally got my, my promos in and I was like, oh man, this is really cool tech. So what they did to kind of, you know, we and we covered it last year, right? Stiffest riser in the industry, the only grip uh, that's centered on the riser out of any bow manufacturer. So you're gonna get more pointability. And then for knock travel, they give you a small cam, big cam. So that's how they get away with having the grip center. Flex guard. So all the tech that you remember out of last year on the Nexus line, it's gonna be carried into the end line. What makes this nice is the cable, as you draw it back, the cable is gonna track in on the mod and come back into line into the riser. So if you look at the, both those cables, they're on the inside of that riser, but it's also putting it right behind the string track, which is gonna give you that point of, if you go to torque it, it's gonna snap your line right back. The inline's cool also just because of, you can't torque the boat, right? So that was something that me and you liked on the Nexus line is if you, you have to physically wanna to torque this shot, cause if not, it's gonna, the bow's gonna naturally snap a line. But also by that doing what it does is it's going to give you even pull on both sides of the axle. So no cam lean, right? But it's also going to give you more even of a shock. So you don't, because of that, cam lean. So what everybody's trying to do is they're trying to eliminate cam lean into a bow. Bowtech does it with sliding back and forth. Prime's going to do it with your inline system instead of a dual track system. And also with Prime, you get a free string cable every two years for the life of the bow. Once you register it under your name, it starts the clock. So every two years, boom, string cable. Um, quite a savings for you. That's a really cool feature and uh, I'm really excited to shoot this right now because like I said I really really loved last year's primes um, so I'm interested to see if this is the same. Definitely short on me but still get to feel the draw is like crazy smooth. This reminds me of the Matthews no cam back in the day where it just rolls straight back right. except this thing's probably not like I can't run faster than this arrow. <laughs> Oh, the no cam. What There's not on? much dwell though. So Mac can see what you're talking about here. Yep. But <laughs> pretty dead though. Good feeling bow. I did notice. Is there any dwell adjustment on this? Yeah, bow you're on the you're on the bottom side of this cam, right? So oh, this okay. thing's way short. You just wanted to crack through it real quick, so yeah. I didn't set draw length on it. Got it. So if you're the, long grip, the grip they also that's one thing we didn't cover on the inline. They carried the grip over. Um, and we covered it a little bit last year. Um, it's a NASA product and gives you a lot of insulation on that front hand. It is super smooth. Strokes them in there, man. I like this a lot. Um, like you said, I actually want to try to torque it. Let me try to torque it. Softly, right? So, so what I tell guys to do this, don't, don't roll the cam right. off because that's not how you shoot right, a boat. Right. But you know it and I know it, right? There's always hand torque in a shot. So what was impressive last year is when I would try to twist this bow to pretty much come back it's almost hard to do and this one's like pretty much the same so it doesn't seem like there was any compromise i mean look at the group both strokes in there but so a lot of guys what you just said yeah the bull points and that's points. part of that center grip technology when you put a sight pin on this um i think yeah so the other two the 33 and the 35 i have sights on them so you can see how that pin holds it's oh it's quite nice <laughs> so we're gonna roll into the next one we'll see you guys then we're here with the next prime inline this one here is the 33 inch version so this is getting a little closer to my flavor although i am super excited to get to the 35 which is our next one uh i'm assuming pretty much the same as the last one just bigger same tech uh stiff riser inline tam uh wide limb pocket uh, 33 inches of drawing. Send one down. Or on axle to axle. One thing that we didn't cover, James, is they do have a new dampening system on the bottom. Mm. So another big thing that I that I've noticed between the Nexus and the inline, the new bow for this year, I find it to be a little bit smoother of a draw cycle than the Nexus, and I find it to be a deader bow than the Nexus. They both point well. They both can't torque. 
Just pleasurable boast. I just love the way the draw just is a uh, very it feels like, it feels, lineal, right? It feels like yeah, very extremely lineal. Right. Thing hits hard. No, I know what you're saying. It does hold super well. Um, and the draw, it just there's no hump, no valley, no nothing. Um, which is what I liked about that Matthews no cam. This one feels just like that. It's almost like you're pulling a recurve. Look at that. I mean, one more, we might do a Robin Hood here in the shop. <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. The pin hold, can you see it? Hold it just insane. doesn't want to move. I mean, pretty nice. Last year I was in super, super impressed with these bows. And I don't think I need to be nervous because I think they shoot just as good with this cam. Although I was nervous, I'm telling you it was, but. You no, know, a lot of guys, that's kind of why they went to this, is a lot of guys, just what you said. Yep. And it, it, you no, know, I meant it made me, made me nervous in a, in a going, away, it, going away from yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. A lot of guys are like, man, I want to buy this boat, yeah. but. Yeah. Dude, I don't know about all this whole cam system. So they're like, okay, so the market wants to see this because mm -hmm. this is what everybody knows. Yeah. So they give you the same tech, just a different way to do it. Yeah, I love it. It feels great. Um, and the one thing when they did have the split uh, cams, before I shot it, I always was scared if I fell, I would like bend it or break it or something. So that was, I know what you're saying. Like I had a little hesitation there, but in reality, like it's not any weaker than a single cam. It's just, it right. looks different. So you're automatically like, Ooh, what everybody shies going? away from it. What's that? Yeah. But let's get into that 35. Cause I'm very excited about it. A lot of guys one. are going back and forth, right? Between the 33, 35, 35, you know, for a guy that's going to be a Western state spot and stock, Ooh. that's your bread and butter. Look at this camo too. Sexy, right? Someone should come in and buy this today because it, <laughs> it, once this video's out, this thing gonna be gone quick. I like that camel print oh my on gosh. here. It just it does look beautiful. That's a, like a desert scope. If you're watching this video, come straight to the shop and buy this because it's gonna be gone quick. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is bitching. I might I might steal it out of here. We'll see. You're going on a hunt, you lucky dog. I know. Truck problems. We we're supposed to be hunting today, but uh, I figured seeing Bruce was the next best option. I even quit my hunt early today. Ooh, that one's packs a little different. Maybe yeah, it's you got a longer, longer draw. Yeah. You got a uh, about a half inch longer. What's this? Thirty one. Thirty and a half. Feels good though. I feel like I'm sure the draw is the same. I'm assuming because the cams are the same. Is there any difference in these cams? A lot of guys will pick up a thirty five to be a little bit smoother or, or lineal just because it's a longer string angle or axle to axle. I feel like this one's quite a bit different almost. Your hold should. Your hold should be a little bit tighter with that, just because of the axle. Axis. I mean, the draw, it's weird. It could just be me, and I've shot a lot of bows here today, because we filmed two videos, but I feel like this one packs real hard, right in that last, like, three inches, where I didn't feel like the other two did. It's that draw length. You think, and it's probably, if it was 29. You're loading up different yeah, here, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Easily my favorite of these three so far would be that 33. 33. But I would have to try it at, uh, yeah, the 33. I would have to try it at 29 to really know, but sweet bows. Cool I'm, job, I'm right? impressed by Prime, man. Something else for you guys as viewers, but doesn't mean a whole lot, but for me as a mechanic geek. So this is their shim system, right? So certain bows you're gonna have a bunch of different shims or this or that to be able to get rid of camling. They don't have camling because of that inline system, but let's say for some reason, James, you get a tear right and we can't get rid of it. Well, they give you shim systems, but this is a half moon shim now. So I can just loosen these. They have a tool, pop it in, pop it out. I don't need to take the whole thing out, re-shim. Really clean, elegant for me as a mechanic, but for back to the tunability of a bow, I want to be able to wrench on a bow. I want to be able to get rid of a, a tail high, tail right, left, right. And I know the arrow's perfect, your draw length's perfect. I don't want to have to move 16 shims to achieve it. Yeah. So it's pop, 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 done. Boom, go yeah. shoot. That's so cool. It's actually pretty cool tech. This is probably going to be the widest limb pocket out of all the bows. In yeah, fact, it is because I've measured them all. So yeah. really, really wide stance on that bow. So, but really cool. um, yeah, I mean, I think that's going to, Matt's going to shoot this 33. He's never shot a, a prime before, so he's going to shoot it, get some clips, get him reacting. But so, I mean, to close kind of what me and Bruce are doing, I was worried. I was really worried to come in here and not like these because last year I liked them so much, but no, I'm not disappointed. I really liked them all. Um, Prime did it again. I think they're 
it's kind of like I feel like all bow brands are so good now, like compared to ten years ago. That Absolutely. It's like, like we said, I mean, it's like you can't really go wrong, but you should shoot all the brands so you know what feels best for you. It's like all the tech is high, all the companies have good shit. All right. Do you want a lighter bow? Do you want a heavier bow? Do you want a, whatever it might be? Sure. Yeah. So, anyways, coming to the bow shop. Matt's gonna shoot. All right. Well, like James said, I haven't shot a prime since when I first came in here to to buy a bow four-ish years ago, and since then I've only shot uh, my Bowtech or other Bowtech, so um, we'll see how this feels compared to those. It feels good. I'm gonna try uh, I'm gonna try and hold for a while, just kind of see how that, that pin settles. I've, I've heard these uh, the primes can be pretty good for that. Yeah, that is, that is dead. Dead nuts on What do you think of that draw cycle? It feels good, like, like you were saying, it, it feels pretty linear. A uh, little bit different than what I'm, what I'm used to, but it definitely feels good. And uh, holding the pin feels good. The bow really just wants to, wants to stay, uh, stay perfectly upright, and, and uh, the pin wants to settle nice. Yeah, that's a good feeling bow for sure. Um, like I said, I haven't shot a prime uh, for a long time, and I don't have much experience with it. But shooting this feels feels really good. Everything feels like it just wants to track right back. Come behind me, James, like right over his head. So if you look at your string, how it comes off this cam line, and that cable picks up into that cam line. Do you see how that is that a do you have the angle there? Yeah. It's kind of hard to explain, but you can see it here. So it's tracking everything into that cam. Cables are on the inside of that riser. So everything is in line, hence the name of the boat. I haven't felt the... Pretty so the dwell's nice. still nice. Dwell, it's not as pretty nice like dwell amount, I feel like. I agree. Great draw. It did make a huge difference now the draw feels going from 30 to 29 when I shoot made a huge difference. You're just in that power stroke of your draw cycle, right? Yeah. So, so that bow, Dead that's going to be too. for the guy that's western hunting, wants that long shot. And I find like you, that 33 to 34 to 35. I shot a 36, the old uh, Airborne the from Bowtech. Yeah. I shot the Airborne. Yeah, the Airborne, yeah. And I didn't have a problem with it, except I was in a ground blind. That's when I had to worry about stuff. So see, if you, Matt, if you zoom up here, you can see, I'll try to draw slow so you can see what he's talking about if you get right behind me. See, it, it's kind of like almost like a saucer dish. That's actually a great way to explain it. You know, it's like a dish that like scoops you in, or it's almost like a, uh, Almost a little bit like a clutch, not quite, but just the way it like scoops the string in is yeah, pretty they, cool. They cupped it. And they cupped it, yeah. That's exactly what you're saying. It's like a satellite dish to, to bring that string in, so. Pretty cool technology. It feels really similar, too. Like, I'm, I'm happy about this bow. Like I said, I wasn't exaggerating when I was a little nervous, but um, really happy with the result. And uh, like I said, head down to the bow and arrow shop. They got uh, PSE, Bowtech, Prime, Bear, Elite, Elite, Elite. Yeah. so come on in if you like bows and want to shoot a bunch of them, this is a place to come. But like I said, come in, check them out, shoot them all, find out which one you like the best, and uh, we'll see you next time we're here at the Bow and Arrow Shop. So thanks to Matt for filming, and the boys for having me here on my birthday, shooting a bunch of bows, so you guys will see this one first, and then uh, another video in a few days, so thank hey, you You're not guys. going to have sushi and cocktails, are you? Oh, we are. We're closing the shop, we're all going for party. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thanks guys. They're like, there's just not that many shops in Orange County. I don't know if you know of any up there. They're like, you gotta go out to like, okay, so some those two guys that I just talked to. Yeah, they're from Orange County, and they come exactly. out here. We're, we're coming here. But. I wish I, I mean, I gotta just tell guys because I've I've tried to tell them. I got this is what I have at a shop. Someone like you that knows everything about the bow and more can tune the bow, can fix whatever's going on with you. I feel like a lot of times you guys will tell me that they went to the shop and they got sold like eight different releases and you know two different sites because they just they just sell them whatever they want to buy right. versus you can know what somebody needs and i'm a big i'm a big huge proponent look man james said it earlier i might like this you might like that i might like this i'm gonna have you shoot you know what do you, you want to shoot a thumb or a trigger i want to shoot a thumb okay we're gonna shoot 
blah 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 blah. Right. Or I want to shoot a tree. You know, case you're not point, trying, you're you're not trying to lead somebody to what right. you shoot. Yeah, you're I, want you, I want you to be happy with what you. Yeah. I'm going to tell you all about all of it. So take well, your own decision. Bro. Well, not to mention too, like, um, you know, a lot of those other shops unfortunately don't really teach people how to shoot. Exactly. You know, whereas like here you come in and people have you know there's just about every video you that's why I like here has yeah. Bruce just like this or right? someone else yeah right yeah. so he's, yeah. he's he's in there the gap between buying a bow and being successful with a bow is, is huge so having someone like you to get you you know dialed in with the bow my, my biggest thing is like James, for the why, why, be, why have an archery shop if you're not gonna I mean the reason I got in this I just want to make people good. Yeah. And I, I think I said it four or five videos ago, you know, I want to show you how to shoot, though. I want you to get better, and I want to go do a 3D shoot and have yeah. to pay someone 50 bucks. You know what I mean? Remember that? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I mean, that, that's, Old days. See, that's rad. That, that's what it's all about, man. I mean, I want you to whoop my ass. 